Hello, and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. <clears throat> My name is Natalie. I'm an empath and intuitive card reader. I'm here this evening to do the general monthly reading for the month of October for the sign of Pisces. And for those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. Um, if you're new to YouTube and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you're brand new, if you're new to YouTube, the subscription button is trying to say is found down below this video window. If you click it, You'll be notified every time they find your fortunes, post any new videos, that way you won't miss anything. And also to state that I use, for those of you that are new again, the Oceanic Tarot deck. I pull five cards from the 78 card deck for this reading. And to give credit where credit's due, the, this is uh, created by Jane Wallace and the illustrations are Jane Deliver Taylor. At the end of those five cards, I pull one significator from my deck of tarot. It's another deck. And the illustrator is Bridget Reed and the, uh, or the creators, Bridget Reed and the illustrators, Colin Howard. <clears throat> I'd like to say thank you too, just before I get started to um, all the current subscribers and new subscribers, would be subscribers. Thank you for any likes and any shares that you may be doing among your friends and your family. Um, that's really, really deeply, deeply appreciated. Please feel free to leave any comments below in the comment section as well. I really, really love that a lot. I like hearing some feedback. If you liked it, if you liked the reading, if it resonated with you, um, if you've got even a story to tell, please feel free to tell it in the comment section. Just to, to uh, let some of you know, if you're new again, <clears throat> that these are general readings. This one is a general reading, but that means it may or may not resonate with you on a personal level. If you want a personalized reading, I do offer that service. The, the, the uh, information for that is found on the description box below. There's a couple choices there for readings as well. Please read through that once, and then you can ship me off an email. What you get for your money is a reading that looks much like this one, only a much larger spread. Um, most readings take approximately an hour. If it goes over that, you get two videos because my camera only records up to one hour. I don't charge any extra. I ring the messages out of the cards, and when I'm done, I'm done, whether it takes an hour you know, 55 minutes, an hour and 10 minutes, doesn't matter. Um, then you get the link to the um, video. It takes you into a private window, um, which only you can see, and you get to watch that video over and over and over again, and that's what you get for your money. Um, let's see here. I think that's just about it, Pisces. Why don't we get down to it? I see some good cards already. Here we go. For those of you who know, just quickly, five cards spread, each card falls in a certain placement. First card, overall energy. Second card is your wealth and finance. Third card, heart, love, and romance. Fourth card is your challenges for the month. Fifth card is your message from spirit. First card that I pulled for you in your overall energy is the Eight of Cups. It's all about change. For those of you new to tarot cards, cups are like hearts because they represent hearts. They're also the suit of hearts in the regular playing cards as well. All about love, home, family. Um, when, let's see here, uh, this card is advising you, your overall energy is to follow your heart and go forward. It's time to take your leave. For some of you have finished up on a job well done or finished up on a relationship, finished up on living um, a certain way. There are new changes, you're walking away, you're leaving something something someone or situation there's something that you're leaving behind and you're moving forward this is exactly the right time to do this as well let's see here um let me pull my book i'm sorry about this just one moment i'm still learning these are new cards no, they don't all mean the same. There's so many decks out there, and the meanings all come up different. They mean the basic same meaning, but um, there's nuances that you need to decipher between the difference in the cards. Mine are oceanic, and I've never seen another set like them, so... Okay, let me see. Um, we're into cups. There we go. And that was the eight, correct? Yes. The eight of cups overall energy. Some of you, yes, are leaving um, certain commitments at an emotional level. 
Um, you're trying to do it in a way so that there's little drama or any moral struggle to contend with. Some of you will say a very quiet goodbye. Those are the places and things and um, um, life, a lifestyle, a life that you're leaving behind. Your, your life is about to change, so you're saying a quiet goodbye to the old life that you have in some form or another. That can come in many, many forms. You're really, really ready at this time, Pisces, for some change in your life, fresh change, new things. You're nervous and excited and a little bit scared, but you're all, you're holding it with open arms. I'm saying, bring it to me. I need the change. I want the change. Yes, yeah, some of you are really in for a big, big change of scenery, huge change of scenery. Some of you may be just going on a longer vacation than normal. Some of you could, you know, if all you can manage is a short trip away, then you'll take that. It'll revitalize you and refresh you. Follow your heart and go forward. Um, the keywords for this card are endings, departures, journeys, movement, transition, travel, and vacations. So that's in your overall energy of the reading. The next card that I pulled for you, and this is a good one. It fell in your wealth and your finances. Um, this is like one of the top cards in any deck, any tarot deck. This is like, this is, this is big. And it is the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> and it's all about wish, a wish. Nine of Cups, again, about hearts, love, and a wish. This is your wish card. So that's why it's a great card. Some of you are going to be receiving benefits from love, benefits from projects, benefits from jobs, um, and there'll be a lot of harmony at home, so a lot of benefits there as well. Um, at this time, the card is showing in your field of finances, in your home, anything that extends out because your field of finance right now, you have a sense of contentment, Pisces, like everything has found its place is the feeling that I'm getting. Everything is is very snugly falling into place and just kind of fitting right in there nice and snug. Every little aspect of your life right now is really good. I'm envious. I hate you. No. <laughs> um, oh, I wish. Feelings of contentment. Is there anything better than the feeling of contentment? When you've had a good day and at the end of the day you have a good meal and you're feeling full and relaxed and you're feeling like you, you've done something that day. That's a feeling of contentment. Going to sleep at night with no worries. Nothing to be worried about. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to fear. Nothing to feel apprehensive about. When you have none of those things, what takes the place is contentment. And when you start your day and you wake up and you take a big, long stretch and you realize morning's here. And you quickly breathe. There's a flash that starts your day. You see your day starting. There's a flash. And then it's like back in our subconscious we already know we basically have planned the day and there's a feeling as you're stretching of contentment it's going to be a good day you can't buy stuff like that you have to work for it but you can't buy that not that feeling one thing for some of you though pisces right now don't become smug in all your glory some of you can take on a bit of an attitude of you know um uh, I'm doing better than the Joneses three houses up now. You know, I'm doing better than all my buddies or all my girlfriends. Um, I'm quite happy in my relationship and my family life's going really good. I'm, I'm you know, kind of riding on top of I'm doing better than that. Don't do that. Don't think that way. That's, that's um, you know, that's negative connotation that's coming out. It doesn't serve any purpose. You just got to kind of watch for that. You're going to do that well. That you're going to have to double check yourself and say, am I being smug or stuck up? Or holier than now because I don't want to be that way. Because you know what, Pisces, it's not part of your nature to be that way. Pisces are very modest people. They're very loving people. They're sweet. Most Pisces that I know are sweet, sweet personalities. You you're being encouraged at this time though to share your enthusiasm and even some of your good fortune. If you can help out those that are that are, you see somebody struggle, you see a need, go and fill it without being asked or prompted. Just say, I see a need, I need to fill it. I know that person's in, in trouble. I'm going to go help them out. <clears throat> if some of you, if feel nudge, will do so behind the scenes. You'll help behind the scenes. Some of you, 
may reach out and make a huge make make you know you may you may leave um, food or money um, for somebody and you're never going to get the credit for it because that's the way you wanted it you wanted it done behind the scenes anonymously so that's a wonderful thing I mean you can help out groups and uh, you know organizations and whatnot um, to make an impact that way um, where the money um, will be divvied up and dispersed and used for different things to run an organization to help those clients of the organization. And then you've got the one-on-ones where you like to see the bigger impact. You like to sit back with your hands folded behind your head and a nice contented smile on your mouth um, and watch the good that is being reaped that maybe you've bestowed on just one person. That's just for a couple of you. This is a general reading, remember that. Um, there's going to be an awful lot of socializing coming up. If it, it, Now I get the feeling there's a lot going on right now. Now's the time. There's a lot going on. Some of you, uh, you know, we're midweek now. Um, and this weekend can be a busy one for some people. There'll be a lot of people around good times. The advice is um, you are perfectly placed at this time to have your dreams come true. Keywords are happiness, love, support, harmony at home, and abundance. And it doesn't get much better than that, Pisces. It doesn't surprise me. You guys deserve it anyway. Third card in your heart of love and romance is the King of Wands. And he's all about practicality. Okay. One moment. I took a drink of this before I started the reading and I had to stop and wipe the mess out. I have ice cubes. And sometimes the... You hold it up, the liquid goes out and around the ice cube, it goes out here somewhere, and it goes down here, and it went everywhere. I was upset, kind of threw my karma off for a minute, but you had to be there to appreciate the humor behind that. Kind of shocked me because of ice cold water. King of Wands, practicality, heart and romance. This is a man of action. He's engaging and inspiring. He's a leader. His feelings usually show. You normally don't have to second guess this guy. When you run into him or are about to encounter him, you already know what kind of mood he's in. Not to say it's bad, but you, you, he just, everything with him, there's just no, he believes that life is too short for BS. So he doesn't waste any time at all in the run of his day, his personal day, in the run of his personal interactions, one-on-ones with people. There's no mess around. So when you walk up to this guy, you already know. If he's relaxed, if he looks anxious or frustrated, it all shows on this man, which is to your benefit, really. Um, this man is connected to very many people, and he travels a lot. There's a hint right there to who that may, what that may mean, blah, 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 what that may mean to some of you. That's a Canadian in me, guy eh? coming out, eh? <laughs> Talking too fast, too swiftly. Sometimes this comes up as the U card. So this could be you, Pisces, that we're talking about here. And right now, <clears throat> the card says you should expect to find practical solutions to practical problems. That goes for your relationships as well. Practical problems such as trying to find the time to spend quality, quality time together. So that's what that's all about. Um, my cat, one of them. Trying to figure that out, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's creating a little bit of a little bit of a um, a bit of surf in the water, as we said, in a manner of speaking. Instead of calm waters, there's a bit of a bit of a ruffle going on. Um, and you want to straighten this out before it ends up with uh, seeing the back of somebody's head and a big wake left behind. You don't want that. So you're trying to step ahead of that. It's not really that much to worry about because nobody's going to leave a big wake and leave you behind, you know, with water in your face is they can't get away from you fast enough. But it is the type of problem that if you don't get on top of it now before it becomes a real issue. Um, it, 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 yeah, it could lead to some long term damage. So you got to be careful about that Pisces right now. Make an effort with your better half right now. Put the effort in. And let them see the effort if, if you so choose to do so. It won't hurt in any way. <clears throat> There's advice with this card as well to explore your passions. 
also to look um, start looking at unconventional people and go to some unconventional places and that might be where you might want to spend some time with your better half the other half of you the other side of you the other person in your life um, to go to something someplace unusual you'll sit down and have that discussion and you may plan a plan a pleasant surprise for the other person in your life right now and you may pick a trip and say, you know what, um, I'm going to take them there because we've never been. So I'm going to get this planned and all ready to go. And when everything's ready to go, I'll give them about two weeks notice to get everything clear, get their schedule cleared. And we're already here and we're going to go have some fun. And this time is going to be just for us. So you have to think of things like this. If you're in the position to do that and so lucky, then go ahead, go ahead and do that. The keywords for this card are energy, creativity, power, passion, wisdom, freedom, and openness, which you will find in your relationship is going to grow. When the other person, if you choose to let them see the effort you're putting in, it's going to open up the communications between the both of you. It's going to make the other person feel a lot closer to you as well. It's going to really pull them in because all they're going to see, they're not going to see the big fancy trip. They're not going to see, you know... Um, you're breaking your back to do things for them. It's going to be um, it's going to be the fact that you did anything at all. It's the gesture that you had the wherewithal and you had they're gonna know they they were on your mind a lot in a big way, forefront and center for you to pull this off. That's what they're going to see. Not the trip, not the money spent, not the fancy this and that, the fancy dinners and the flying here and jet setting there. It's the fact that you they're going to know that you had them forefront and center. And that's going to mean the world to them. It's going to pull them in closer to you. It's going to make a huge impact in your relationship. You're going to be having feelings of safety and security that go along with that. A very contented feeling. So, um, The next card that I pulled for you in your place of challenges is the seven of, wands, seven of Wands. And this is, I had this earlier. This is about endurance. I just had this for, um, what did I just do? Aquarius. This card didn't show up or did it? Yes, it did. Oh my goodness, it showed up in the same spot. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay. Keywords for this card are defense, resilience, protection, opposition, territory, force, and resistance. The advice of this card is to say your words loud and clear. And um, any negativity coming your way, you have the higher ground and to remember that. Um, you'll have to stand your ground with endurance and courage, and you'll get the results that you need. You have to remember that. Don't shy away if you have any encounters and any opposition. Um, anybody wanting to go to debate with you over certain issues, don't back down from them right now. Your first impulse, like we have, it's to, um, you know, um, it's to flee away from situations like that. Pisces, they really don't like to have that confrontation. None of you do. But boys, oh boys, if there's an issue at hand, if there's integrity at question, um, you know, you'll stand there and you will stand your ground. It depends what the situation is going to be, but there's something coming up for some of you. If it isn't already going on right now as well. Some of you may feel a need to fight for certain relationships. So that comes back to the King of Wands again. And what you're going to do, you're going to be knocking yourself out and bending over backwards to accommodate the other person in your life right now. Some of you may have to defend your territory, and I mean terra firma, the ground that you're standing on. Um, some of you are looking at literal territory wars right there. Not, not, not wars, maybe war is too strong a word, but heads coming together um, over a certain land and who owns what um, and who can build where and this kind of a thing. Your fifth card in this reading is from... The um, Ten of Pentacles is all about luck and it's your message from spirit. Okay. It's 
Spirit says good luck is coming to you. And you find yourself celebrating a windfall or an unexpected financial windfall. Um, this will bring stability to your life as well. Well, how about that, eh? I also see a family gathering is in the cards as well for you right now. And um, also that any family irritations, any family squabbles, any family discord that's been going on up to this point right now, Pisces, um, all these things are going to be put to, the, put to the wayside. All of a sudden, they're not going to really matter anymore. Um, there's too, too much good going on right now for some of you. So you're not going to, nobody, everybody's going to be on the same wavelength. Well, let's just lay everything down and walk in and let's just celebrate this one wonderful thing that's happening. This one wonderful thing that can change our lives. This one wonderful thing that came so unexpectedly. We can lay down all these things, all these things that we've been, we've been creating problems with and and, 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 you know, shoving wedges in between us are now going to become very, very trivial. Trivial to the point of embarrassment. What were we fighting about? What were we arguing about? This is, and there's going to be some discomfort, but you, as, the, as, as the celebrations go on, there's going to be a lot of laughing going, and you're laughing at yourself. Everybody's laughing at themselves. Um... And once you reach that, there, you know, uh, what's going to happen is everybody's going to fall into the place in each other's lives where they should be, where they're comfortable with each other. And it's going to end on a grand note. It is going to be great. And you're going to be thinking, isn't that funny how, you know, because windfalls aren't all about money. Windfalls are, can be about a lot of different things. But, you know, you're going to be thinking, Pisces, isn't that funny? All we had to do was have that come together. And now... We're one big happy family for now, for, for a while to come. From what you can see, Pisces, you're going to see that for a while to come. You're all going to be getting along for quite a while. Down the road, maybe there'll be some bumps or bruises, but other than that. You're going to feel an awful lot of love and support. This is a great card. What a beautiful message from Spirit. Families being joined by love, feelings being declared, and commitments being made. Keywords for this card are love, luck, money, generosity, family, and completeness coming full circle for some of you. This is, you know, it hasn't been this long of a reading, but it's very been very tight. Um, I think the reading um, shows that there's some impacts coming up on the lives of Pisces, and, and I don't see anything bad. I see some work needing to be done, some effort needing to be put in there. Um, as far as the Oceanic Tarot deck goes, we got one more card to read here. and um, But a lot of love and great results that all the hard work um, and all the effort and all the dreams and the wishes that are coming through. Don't forget to make some wishes as well. So the final card that I pulled for the overall energy or the uh, signification of the reading is four pentacles. Pentacles are about creativity and mostly money. Four pentacles. Let me get my book. Those that know me well know I have it. It's marked usually. The Lord of Power represents the time when we achieve a stable level of material balance, at least at that moment in time. So we kind of covered all that. That's what abundance, the love, the harmony at home. It's a stable balance that's being put into place right now. On a purely mundane level, it might appear after settling into a new home. So for some of you, if that's what you've been waiting for and you've been wanting a new home, in this initial windfall comes along and there will be a housewarming party and this will be a long time coming this is for people that have worked very 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 hard to get where they are right now this card at this level is much concerned about material bounty it's 
So there's the big wind of change coming in for some of you. Geez, I wish that was me. Let me tell you. Um, there's material bounty and then there's there's um, having your needs met. There's wants and there's needs. We all have wants. Um, different levels of want. The want is a want, you know, but then we have different levels of needs. People with different levels of needs. Some people are very needy. Some people not so much. Some people just need a bit more to get by. This kind of a thing. Um, as the card suggested, to if you see a need, don't hesitate to fill it. And you don't always necessarily have to stand up front and center and say, I did that. Um, you know, to help other people out. And then, as the card had said earlier, to sit back and watch the wonder of, of how when humans reach out to each other, it doesn't have to be about money. It doesn't have to be about things like that. It just has to be so that, you know, if you see a neighbor or a friend and they have a forlorn look about them, um, maybe they feel lonely in the world. Um, somebody going through a very bad breakup or maybe in the death of a loved one. You don't have to approach them with, hey, you want to sit down, you want to talk about that. Just, just be there for them. Just be there for them. And, and it's amazing, the human connection, with the power behind the human connection. There's a lot there. And that's what I think we're all here for. We're all here to learn. We're all here to learn to love. We're all here to experience acceptance. We've got a long way to go. Collectively, as a human race, a very long way to go. I don't know, in the span of time, you can look at the world one way or the other. It's all personal perspective. You know, I can wake up tomorrow and and not be happy and uh, have things bothering me or upsetting me, um, you know, and uh, lead my day that way. And that's the way the day will roll as long as those feelings are far forefront and center. Or I could be like I am right now. I'm very calm and very relaxed. And in the moment, I'm loving the moment of where I live and where I sit and where I am and what I'm doing. Um, and I see the world right now because it's dark out, the stars are out, and I can hear the surf softly breaking. It's a soft surf tonight. And I think, what a wonderful world, just like the song. Um, and it's how we perceive our surroundings and how we see the world. This is just my take on things. And right now, like I say, I couldn't ask for more beauty. And better yet, do I have needs in it? <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah, I got a lot of needs right now. But I have to can't concentrate on them all the time. I have to trust that the universe is going to take care of me. Bring me what I need when I need it. I'm overdoing a few things, by the way. But having said that, tomorrow, but it's all personal perspective, because tomorrow the world could change, you know. Um, I could see the world, I'll catch a news program or see something real raunchy on Facebook, you know, real violent. That'll throw me for days. And I don't see there any, any beauty in the world at all when that happens. Collectively, if we could just come together as one, we'd all see the beauty. We would all see what we're really here for. That's just my take. These are just my crazy words at 1230 at night. Crazy woman sitting here talking to herself. Anyway, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I hope it brings you some good. I hope it brought you some wisdom. And most of all, I hope it brought you some hope. And thank you very much for being here with me this evening. I appreciate you stopping by and spending this time with me. And I hope to see you back in about two weeks' time for the mid-month readings for October. So we'll see you back then, hopefully. Until that time, October's coming up on us real, real fast. A few more days. Please enjoy it as much as you can. Goodbye.